one key lesson I have for anybody who is listening is uh, if you consider joining Leap, uh, do it early. Uh, I think it helps a lot in getting you uh, set up in the right direction. But uh, I waited uh, maybe uh, too long and joined. Actually, Leap did not exist when I left Nice, but I joined <laughs> early in Leap, but too late for my career step. <laughs> Doron leaping to an EVP role, ringing the bell in NASDAQ last week. Now that's a leap. And for everyone else, hi, I'm Ilana Golan. We help professionals reinvent, leap their career. And we have an amazing, amazing story for you um, today. How did this happen? Tell the audience a little bit about yourself because they don't know you. I actually started my journey uh, coming off... Uh a role in a big corporate called uh, NICE, doing um, business development, general management role there. I've been there for nine years. And during the time that I was there, I was actually involved in quite a bit of M&As and uh, also helped uh, Quali3 uh, focus the company on a new strategy uh, based on cloud uh, delivery model, the shift to the cloud, as they call it. And... Uh, uh, I did want to experience something different. I did want to actually shift my career to uh, more of the investment side. And I had a couple of uh, things that I've done there on the way. The full story is that I joined the Career Leap in the middle of all of that. So uh, during that time at Leap, my accountability buddy around Sandhouse and me got to know each other and uh, had a meeting of the mind. So... Um, First, we did, uh, I think, a fairly effective process of figuring out what we want to do. My mind was still set at investment at the time. And uh, the basic concept was to try and contribute my experience to as many companies as I can, kind of a fan out of the capabilities. Right. To the reality, I found out that uh, your ability to influence as a board member, as an investor, is fairly limited. So uh, I started to... Um, feel the itch, as I call it, uh, to put more of uh, my own uh, uh, fingerprints um, yeah. on, on, on any company. And uh, uh, there was a situation where Iran was actually picking up projects on his consulting company. He was starting uh, his own leap into the venture side, uh, forming his own uh, investment house uh, arm. And... Um, he wanted some help. He basically wanted to take a project that was very exciting and interesting to him, but uh, wanted to make sure that he's able to deliver and uh, the type of capabilities he needed was right in my um, backyard m and Worked for four or five months on the project and uh, there was a situation where um, pretty much I got an offer I couldn't understand. So, <laughs> <laughs> And I, I love it. So I called it <laughs> <laughs> You called me and we yeah. could, you know, we couldn't resist, right? <laughs> yeah. the, the bottom line that uh, led for, for me to join the company on a full-time basis uh, as their EVP of uh, corporate strategy and uh, corp dev and, and strategy, that's the official title. What does it take to enter uh, such an executive level role in your mind? Uh, first, you need to build trust with the, primarily the CEO that's going to hire you. Building trust is one thing. On, on my side, it's also uh, understanding that that uh, persona, that CEO is, is call it open for business in my uh, specific field of view. So he means business. He wants to really grow the company in other non-traditional ways. Mm -hmm. um, and he's open uh, for ideas and exchanges and and you know, a discussion uh, more than just a top-down marching order. Uh, I think that when you sign up for an executive role, you need to understand what happens when things get tough as well. When you join a company, especially in early stage, uh, a fit within the other management team functions is, is an important one. Uh, those guys are going to be your peers, and uh, a lot of time they're involved in one way or another in the interview or vetting process and then you have the layer of the board and and the board is very involved in deciding uh, I believe any C-level 
or EVP level type person that joins the, the management team. And especially when you talk about relatively early stage companies, the board is uh, personally uh, vetting the people. So, you know, the CEO obviously has a lot of say, but he's not the only player. And I would say that the process first tends to be complex and second, lengthy at a time. In terms of when you actually communicate with the board, is it more strategy? Is it more leadership? I'm sure some people have it in their mind. Like, what should I expect? What kind of questions are there going to be? Uh, call it combination of strategic mindset and ability to listen, process, and maybe challenge uh, their opinions. Nice. And you need to do it in a way that is... Uh, in a way respectful but yet uh, forceful uh, so going into an interview and and i am sure that if i would just agree with whatever they said and you know compliment that whatever they've done is just perfect up till now uh, then nobody needs you that interesting to them well the magic happened for you last week when you rang the bell on nasdaq i think first it's a virtual bell to be honest it's just a touch screen <laughs> But uh, yeah, it, it, you know, I I think I was in a very uh, unique position. First, you join a company and that's the second week on the job. You go to Nasdaq with all the, the hype there. Uh, it's not my first time at Nasdaq, but uh, this time was different because it was a company that uh, yeah. I did not uh, help grow from the get-go. Uh but it is, uh, call it the, the responsibility sinks on you there because uh, that's the event where you get the money to spend wisely and uh, it's my role to spend it wisely. <laughs> so uh, um, that that comes with a lot of responsibility, but the fanfare of people that invest, uh, you know, good five plus years in, in growing a company and that feeling of uh, relief that, you know, it's being recognized by Mr. Market the the goal is uh, of course uh, to make good use of the money and grow the company so um i look at it in that perspective maybe uh, a little bit more reserved if you can kind of capture for people who don't know me don't know lee what did you get out of it the key takeaways is and i felt i needed it much is, is that structure uh of clarifying uh, things that maybe are floating in your mind and putting them up on paper, you go through a fairly rigorous structure process, especially if you have a good accountability body like I had. <laughs> and we kind of challenged it, it, you know, each other to both go with the process, but also set goals for uh, pretty much on a weekly basis. And uh, <clears throat> the, that structure to me helped a lot.